Hey guys, it's Story here. So this video is 10 things that I wish I knew about role playing when I first started. It's very long, <laughs> this title, but it's actually only 10 things, obviously. So I'm going to jump right in. Number one, there are assholes out there. Just like the real world, they're out there on Tumblr, usually in the form of an anon anonymous face. So don't take it personally. Two. You are never obligated to do anything you aren't comfortable with. This includes smut or just any situation in which you are very uncomfortable with as a person. You're never required to do them, ever. Three, applications seem scary, but they really aren't. And admins, this is coming from me as an admin, are super excited when they get them. When they see that there's this application in their inbox, it's like the best feeling ever because someone is actually interested in your roleplay and they're really excited to see what you have brought forward. Four, if you're denied, it's okay. Sometimes you're denied for stupid things or technicalities or you're denied because you just don't fit the roleplay, which is fine. You can go out and find out another roleplay that you possibly love even more, and it'll be okay. Five, there are communities out there for you. Sometimes it takes a bit to find them, but they're there. Your squad is waiting for you, and once you find them, you'll be okay. Six, never be discouraged for not being a non-native speaker. I obviously speak English as my first language, but... Um, as an admin, I never deny someone because they don't speak English as their first language. I just feel that that's an asshole move. But also, writing with other people that speak that specific language is one of the best ways to learn it. And as someone who has interacted with multiple people who their language is not English, just RPing as an RPer, not as an admin, it's really helpful to be able to interact with people that are from a different culture and language and it's opens up your world to a lot of different things. Seven, no face claim is too obscure to love. Eight, development is always possible, be it in the character or yourself as a writer. Nine, don't be afraid to speak up. If there's a problem, say it. Otherwise, you'll just sit there and fester with it and it will take completely over. 10. This is for fun. If it's not fun, fix it. This is the biggest one that I think I've had to remind myself of a lot throughout the years that I've been Tumblr role-playing. And it's surprisingly really easy to forget that it's just a hobby for me. It's just fun. And when it's not, when I'm not enjoying it, that takes away from the whole experience and it creates such a negative vibe around my life and it's not what I want from role-playing so if it's not fun fix it I'm gonna make t-shirts of that and sell them because it's really important so that's the end of the list um, leave a like or subscribe or whatever it is that you feel like doing um, leave me a comment of maybe things that you wish you had known when you first started role-playing it doesn't have to be on Tumblr it could be Twitter, Facebook, any forums. Um, I don't even know what else is out there for role-playing online. But until next time.